In this video, we are going to talk about using the Wolfhound Pro in a prison environment. The Wolfhound Pro detects cell phones when they make a phone call, send a text message, or when a cell phone registers with the tower, it sends out a beacon or pulse. The time between the beacons varies and can be once every 30 seconds to once every 10 minutes. Let's go over how to effectively use the Wolfhound Pro starting at the guard station. Attach the omnidirectional antenna to the Wolfhound Pro and turn it on. Make sure it is set to the correct country code. You will have to determine the range of your Wolfhound Pro cell phone detector. This will involve experimentation on your part. The range of the Wolfhound Pro is about 75 feet. Walls and floors within the area of interest can affect the range of the Wolfhound Pro. With the Wolfhound Pro at the guard station, ask a colleague to go to points about 75 feet away and have them make a phone call or send a text message. Confirm that you can detect this activity with the Wolfhound Pro. Using this approach, you can determine the actual area you can monitor with your Wolfhound Pro. If the prison has multiple levels, you will have to have your colleague go to each floor to determine the range of the Wolfhound Pro. If cell phones are permitted in administrative offices, visiting areas, or other non-secure areas within your facility, then you will have to take this into account as well. Have your colleague go to these unsecure areas and have them make phone calls or text messages. If the Wolfhound Pro detects this activity from the guard station, then you may have to decrease the overall sensitivity of the device. To do this, press on the eye icon and scroll down to attenuation. An attenuation of level of zero means the device is set to the maximum sensitivity. By setting the attenuation to 28, the Wolfram Pro will be the least sensitive. Adjust this feature until the Wolfhound Pro no longer detects cell phone activity from these non-secure areas. Most inmates who use illegal cell phones will use texting as their preferred method of communication. Let's go over that scenario. Since a text message is only a quick data burst, we will use the watermark feature of the Wolfram Pro to detect it. After turning on the Wolfram Pro, confirm it is set to the correct country or region code. If it is not set to the correct country, then highlight the eye and press the settings and then band selection. Next, locate the down arrow icon. If the down arrow icon is not shown, highlight the eye icon and press enter, then go down to measurements and then phone detection. Locate the two watermarks along the scale of the Wolfhound Pro. With the down arrow icon highlighted, press the enter button and the watermarks will go to the lowest signal level indicated at that time. When a text is sent from a nearby phone, the Wolfhound Pro will detect it and the watermarks will be set to the new level and remain there. Since the guards in the station may be busy with other tasks, using the watermarks will allow them to check on the Wolfhound Pro periodically. Checking the Wolfhound Pro on occasion and making sure the watermarks have not moved confirms there is not cell phone activity in the area. If the watermarks have moved from their original position, this indicates cell phone activity in the area and further investigation is needed. The Wolfhound Pro comes with a direction finding antenna. The metal bracket connects to the direction finding antenna like this. Attach the antenna to the Wolfhound Pro. Okay, now I'm gonna attach the laser bracket to the DF antenna like this.
Okay, I'm now going to attach the Wolfhound Pro to the laser bracket. Okay, so this RF cable connects here and then connect the laser.